a problem is this? Well, it's a big problem. I don't care how good your quarterback is. If he doesn't get protected, you see what happens. You saw what happened to Mahomes in the Super Bowl, Skip. We've seen what happened with Tom. When Tom gets protected, Tom Brady looks like the great quarterback that he is. And when he doesn't, he has to run for his life. He looks very average. Mm. We saw Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, he tried to make some miraculous throws. But when you don't have time to throw the football, it's, it's tough. They make they, The defensive line make life tough on a quarterback. And Eric Fisher, Skip, I mean, they're looking at it like, you just had this surgery in January, Achilles, big guy. What's the likelihood of you coming back being able to start the season? Swartz, you just had surgery on your back, uh, 31 years of age. Uh, what's the chance of you coming back? And he's like, nope. We just might as well go in a different direction. Mm. Skip, they had Lucas, uh, Lucas Niang. They mm -hmm. took in the third round. He opted out. He did. Uh, Laurent yeah. Duvernay Tardif. He opted out. The right guard. Glad you said his name. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to say Laurent. <laughs> Laurent Duvernay Tardif. Mm. Uh, and so, Skip, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really, really tough for Patrick Mahomes. But also, Andy Reid and EB are going to have to do a better job. I understand Scat protection, which means five eligible receivers mm -hmm. are out in the route. I, yep. I understand. But when you well, can't... Scat protection is no protection. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> Maybe, well, when yep. you got five guys and three of the guys are playing out of position, mm -hmm. that's what that means. It means no protection yep. because you see, look, it was like a turnstile. Yep. Tampa just kept running, running right through it. It's going to be tough. Skip, Swartz was a first and second team All-Pro for four straight years. Fisher went to the Pro Bowl last year. So these are, it's not like these are some bum linemen. Fisher was the first pick first, in the was draft. the first pick in Number the Number one overall. O overall. Yeah. He played, he, he, and he gotten better and better. But it just goes to show you, Skip, they got a lot of money tied up. Mm. Patrick Mahomes, uh, Chris Jones, Frank Clark, uh, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey. Mm. They're look, probably looking to do something with a, a Honey Badger. So they got a, a lot of money tied up. And the thing is, you want certainty. You got to evaluate. Is Eric Fisher going to be able to come back and contribute this year? Skip, I can't keep him on the roster at that set, at that number, and he's not playing. Mitchell Swartz, I can't keep him on the roster at that number, and he's not playing. So you just got to roll the dice. Now, we saw the Raiders release Gabe Jackson. They released uh, Richie Incognito. There are a few linemen out there. Yep. Maybe they try to find something off the scrap heap. Maybe, Maybe there's a lineman falls down when they're picking at 31st. But they got their work cut out for him, for, uh, uh, for him Skip. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I don't care how great your quarterback is. If he does not have protection, he will look very, very average. I thought he was transcendent. He is. the football. He is. I, I thought he was a magic man. He is. I he, thought he could create something of nothing. No. Well, he might have a lot of nothing. He, 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 well, right? losing those two guys and looking at what I saw at the Super Bowl, that offensive line, mm -hmm. that's a whole lot of nothing. So it's possible the Kansas City Chiefs will have five new starters across their offensive line. Right. And I'm sure they'll all be pretty to very good players. I'm sure they will because it's they're a smart organization. Right. Andy Reid and Beach, they, they, they know what they do mm -hmm. with their – Brett Beach, yeah. So, so they'll, they'll put something together. Plug and play, yeah. The problem is continuity because it takes knowing it, – it, it takes some sort of – symmetry across the front yes. to figure each other yes. out. How do we do this right. when they do that? Right. And it's hard to, to figure it out on the fly. Yeah. While Tom Brady is going to have the <laughs> same old offensive <laughs> line that really worked for him. Offensive line trying to figure it out on the figure it out on the fly yep. gets the quarterback hit in the back of the head. It does. <laughs> that's, what, that's what that does. Okay, so to me in the big picture this is paying the piper in a lot of different ways. It's not just paying in salary where you gave Mahomes his money, although I still think that's a team-friendly contract. Yeah, very team-friendly, team yeah. Friendly. But you, you talked about all the other big deals that they have had right. to, to give to keep everybody together. Right. That, that's the price of right. winning a championship right. a year ago. But you have to pay the piper in, in attitude, too, because this league will get even with you. So, did you see the social post of our man Devin White? I did. On? Did you? Can I we, did. Yeah, I saw, I saw that? that. I don't know. Oh, there goes Mahomes. Ooh, took a shot from Sue. That was almost a cheap You know, Sue will get that shot. Go, yeah. We go and die. Okay, here we go, Devin White. And they said, never mind. Ah, and the pictures of the two offensive linemen gone. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay, what did they say after the game? Right. I love what Devin White, and this isn't trolling, this is just nailing. That's what he's doing. Because the big theme after the game, the big narrative, well, if we had our offensive linemen, 
we would have won the game. I don't know if they'd have won, but Skip, I don't think I, I think the game would have been more interesting than what it was. But to say because they didn't have those two guys and the outcome wouldn't have been somewhat different is not true because we saw what happened the first time they played. Yeah, we did. So he's basically saying, well, wait a second, you just cut both of them so they can't be that great. Well, I mean, right? one guy came off back surgery, another guy coming off Achilles surgery. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we had Devin White on this show, and he was great. Yeah. He lit yeah. it up. He, he was. He, he was, was great. Sensational. The point is that he, he was the first to admit to us that, yeah, they took it very personally that Tyreek backflipped on them. Mm -hmm. And as he said in repeated recent interviews, that they got pretty, the word he used was cocky, and they right. did. Mm -hmm. Andy Reid's kind of cocky as a play caller. Eric Bimmy, they, they sort of got into, we're, we're unstoppable. Right. Well, this league will level the playing field mm -hmm. on you. You know this better than anybody. <laughs> it will just get even with you. So the Tyreek backflip came when, when they went up 17 to nothing late in the first quarter at Tampa Bay. You remember that game? Yes. And he had 203 receiving yards in the first quarter, and they were rolling. That was the peak of last year's Kansas mm -hmm. City Chiefs was that moment right there. And then slowly but surely, the Bucs got back in the game. Shaq Barrett had one huge play, mm -hmm. created a turnover, that, that stopped the bleeding, right. basically. Mm -hmm. And then here came Brady, and he, he got a little hotter, a little hotter, a little hotter. Mm -hmm. Had some glitches in the third quarter, but then he got hot in the fourth quarter, a couple of touchdowns. All of a sudden, I look up, and it's 27 to 24 right. Chiefs, and 405s left. And again, to your credit, your guy said, No, you can't have the ball back, Tom. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you the ball back. Right. And they killed 405 of the clock. Well, that was on Tampa's defense, which was hit and miss through the year. And then it started to hit through the playoffs. Well, I, I just think the thing is, Skip, you lost two of your bookends. And, and Tampa, you know, look, Bakhtiari goes out in the AFC, NFC championship game. And now you got, you know, you got a mismatch. You got to flip guys around. And so now you got one guy that's supposed to be playing here. He's playing out of position. And you got to bring his back up in to play that position. And we saw the pressure that the Tampa Bay Bucks were able to generate yep. on Aaron Rodgers. They got him five times, knocked him down several times. Then we go to the Super, uh, get to the Super Bowl. And when you got, Skip, it's not like Rimmers is a, a, a great right tackle to begin with. And then you put him at left. You got to be extremely athletic to play that position because normally you're on the open side. Very few teams will start to tight end on that side. So that's why they play the – that's why the left tackle make all the money. That's why they play the defensive end all the money. And that tight end, I don't think he thinks a lot about blocking. No, and they, because he's more valuable in the passing game. But as Devin White was saying, it's not our fault that we were getting pressure and y'all didn't do anything to help the offensive line out. Y'all kept sending five out. We kept sending four in. <laughs> so, hey, if y'all if y'all don't want us to get to the quarterback, help your offensive line out. Yeah. I mean, Tampa didn't even need to blitz, right. which is their calling card. Right. And Devin White didn't get to blitz, which is his calling card. And that was the thing. Once, Skip, once I see that I – why would I blitz? I'm getting home. I'm generating enormous pressure with four. Mm -hmm. You can't stop my four. I don't need to sacrifice them now. I got four coming after you. I got seven in protection. Basically, what they were playing, Skip, they were playing – in basketball, it would be called a boxing one. They play in cover two, but Levante Davis is locked up man-to-man -man on Travis Kelsey. I've only had to face that coverage one time, faced it against Kansas City. Cover two, and they took James Haston. and he followed me all over the field. So they played a man within a zone scheme. Mm -hmm. And Levante Davis did a very good job because he knows, Skip, I got help over the top. I got two deep safeties. I can get his physical – and Todd Bowles told him, get as physical as you want to because you don't have to worry about getting beat deep. Yep. Because you got two safeties over the top. But even more important, Tyreek will not get behind us. Right. Will not. There's there, there a lot of times you couldn't even see the safeties in the screen. In the, in the, I in the agree. Screen. Okay. It all started with the backflip. And sometimes, as you know, the, the NFL gods up, up above, <laughs> they say, mm, we will get even with you. Uh-huh. And they slowly but surely have gotten even with Kansas City. And now the playing field is level again. You do, Skip. You, you remember that. I remember Miami beat us on a Monday night, and they was dancing. Sam Madison might have been Pat Sertain. They was dancing on the sideline because we had just lost the, uh, the uh, week before to the Giants. So we were going in that. We were 13 and 13 and 2. So 13 and 1, we lose that game 13. Skip, they just, ooh, 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 they were dancing. Had a good old time. And? We'll see you again. And? We saw them again. 38 to 3. 38 to 3. <laughs>
Uh, I don't think Mahomes and company will be losing a lot of 38 to threes next year, yeah. but I think they're going to have a hard time protecting him next year. Yeah, because the teams have said we got to get pressure. We got to get pressure. If you can get pressure now, Skip, I, I, and the thing with Tampa show, if you can get pressure without blitzing, because he's tremendous against the blitz. And when you blitz, you got to sacrifice something on the back end. That means you can't play that deep, that shell coverage because somebody has to come down and, and, and take someone. And Tyreek is going to be screaming by you. Mm. But they got you right. They got their work cut out for them. Mm. They got their work cut out. Mm. But I trust Andy. Good. You trust him? Okay. Trust Andy. Right. We're going to leave it there. I trust Tom. Yeah, of course you do. Your day coming, though. Of Your day course coming. you do. Well, you <laughs> haven't trust come for Tom. 21 like years. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.